out here today taking pictures on this new 20 acre Marion County farm, uh, kind of close to Tracy, Iowa. And uh, one thing I love about this farm is there's not a lot of times you get an opportunity to buy a 20 acre farm that sits in the middle of the section that has good income and great hunting possibilities. I would get. I mean, that's. One of the biggest things we've noticed about this farm is you could literally hunt your timber on almost every wind direction uh, but a straight north. You're going to be able to come around either side of this big island and this rock ledge too is going to allow you to get across and even walk the edge. You're going to be able to get anywhere you want in your timber. <laughs> so having a 20 acre farm that you can hunt every wind direction, uh, great income with your crops and this, this rock ledge here is going to be a great pinch point, uh, getting them coming from the bedding to the crops. There's plenty of good trees right here that you can hang in and obviously, hopefully be shooting a big deer coming across this lock, rock ledge since it's the best place to cross uh, with the water being so deep on either side. There has been in the past, but they haven't hit it in a couple days. I wonder if we could get something. Yeah, they've definitely had one here in the past. With the crops here and the river here, this is like insane pinch point, but I mean, I guess that's why there's a huge trail but there's so many big trees in here for hanging purposes. You could hang literally anywhere. It's hard to find mature timber like this. So the longer I do this and the more farms I walk, you know, it kind of brings me back to when I bought my first farm and you know what I was looking for in it. And, and this farm just kind of brings that up. You know, you're looking for a farm with a little bit of income to offset your, uh, your, your cost of it. And then you're also looking for those recreational opportunities and this farm has all of that so it just kind of brings me back to that and and the excited feeling i got buying my first farm and and this excites me for someone you know that you know whether it's your first farm or your 10th farm uh, this farm has about everything you could want just out here helping a buddy tonight harvest uh down in southwest iowa harvest is in uh, full swing right now and uh, we're just going to go out tonight and give him a hand. Like this right now, the dry yield is 235. So that's pretty solid. You can get done twice as fast. It might prevent you from losing three weeks of rain in between something. That could cost you a lot, you know. Back on the road again today, we're heading south down to Ringgold County. It's kind of got special meaning to me. I, uh, not native to uh, Iowa. We ended up moving up here in 2012, but I first started coming up to Iowa in probably 2007 or 8. 
buddy of mine had a, a really nice hunting farm that he had developed in Ringgold County. And I started coming up here, helping him on that farm, doing some work for him, and kind of learning about what it takes to take a farm that's really rough and, and you know, just completely turn it into a whitetail paradise. And so anyway, we came up here in uh, 2007, 8, 9, and then in 2010, I drew a tag to hunt Iowa for shotgun season. And then I actually drew another tag to archery hunt in 2011. 2011, I shot, at that time, it was the biggest deer I'd ever shot. It was a giant bodied, like, seven eight year old buck we had him aged i can't remember remember now if he was seven or eight but scored right at 160 inches got the hunt on video and it was a crazy big deer for me i was excited to have him and pretty much flipped the switch on deciding that i needed to move to iowa after i shot that deer so it took me a couple years to convince the wife but i decided to to come up here and moved up at the end of 2012 all started right down here in Ringgold County but that's where we're heading today we've got a nice piece of property that uh, we listed family has about 420 acres all together and we're gonna list it as two separate tracks they're separated by a big road that goes through the middle and so we're gonna go down and try and get some pictures probably hang some trail cameras up they don't do a whole lot of hunting on the property surprisingly enough so not real sure what's running around but there's a couple well there's at least probably a thousand acres of timber in that immediate area so could be anything running around down there So we'll just probably start on the south end and work our way north. It's already three o'clock, so we're gonna have to get moving pretty quick here, but just got down here to the farm and we're uh, just getting some pictures gathered up, but we uh, just stopped here on this hilltop we're on the south side of this farm. It's about 420 acres altogether. South side of it's 165. I mean, this is about as remote as it gets. This is a gnarly farm. One of the things we often look for when we're walking a farm is the I mean, there's a number of things, but one of the things that we look for is the huntability. And this property's got, just seems like unlimited stand site potential. It's so untouched. There's so many little pockets where if you just had a skid steer, you'd come in here and clear it out. Have a nice little food plot that dives right into this cover. I mean, we're standing over top of a valley and it is thick as thick gets. So this, the heck, I didn't know this was here. This is pretty nice, actually. This goes all the way down the south edge of that northeastmost 80. Right after it sells. <laughs> okay. I don't know, four ought to be okay, right? I mean, it's not a... Got high hopes for that one. So we got two cameras up. This is the south, 165 acres. We're getting ready to head to the north side of the farm now. 
we got two cameras up here one on this really fresh scrape it looks like they've been hitting it today and then one down here on a watering hole but we'll come back here in a couple weeks and check these cameras and see what we've got update the listing if we have any mature bucks showing up i'd be surprised if there's not some big deer using this farm though it's incredible it's so thick hard to get to it's adjacent to a big public area which is primarily timber it's a huge block of timber but then you've got essentially two 80 acre pieces that overlap land side by side got access from the south from the north these big hay fields that could be converted to food plots somebody came in did a little bit of a little bit of tsi put some trails in and some food plots this would be a killer farm well, we got one more spot up here to stop and throw the last sign out for that property we just got listed but pretty solid day took us about five hours i'd say four or five hours had into driving between driving down here and getting photos and getting the drones up kind of hiking the property out we like to have a pretty good idea of what the property consists of before we bring people down to show them so but anyway it's a a lot of work i don't think people realize from the first time we get a call on a piece of property to the time that we actually get it on the website how many hours go into it some are quicker than others but property like this that's 400 acres we're actually going to split the property and offer it as two different pieces and then also as a third option the entire farm just so that when people see it out there they can see that there's different options available it, it takes a lot of work a lot of time effort and uh, here it is almost seven, sun's just sitting and we still got one more sign to put out and then a, an hour and a half drive home and and uh, probably a day of editing pictures and video and, and then finally we'll be ready to get it on the website. But it's quite a sense of satisfaction to see it. So I'm pretty excited to see how all the, everything turns out and see the listings come together. Should have them up online here in just a matter of days now. <laughs>